Okay, my name is Hong, and my son is Tian anyway. Uh, I was born in China. Uh, my father told me how his whole family uh, converted to Christian. Uh, after he finished his degree, uh, he back to China to uh, serve uh, in university, then uh, serving the then uh, Chinese government. During his time, when he uh, was an overseas student in the United States or in France, uh, he had the chance to get in touch with Christianity. Yeah. Uh, then uh, he back to China. He he worked as a uh, the head of the custom in then uh, then uh, Shanghai. This is a long time ago. It's in nineteen like nineteen thirties. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. but uh, he he married um, my grandma, whose uh, background is Buddhism background. So, um, my grandma, I believe, is from a very rich. Uh, family background. So actually, uh, since uh, she like being uh, married to my uh, my grandpa, uh, she still kept the um, um, the ritual of the Buddhism. Yeah. So, um, for example, I heard my my father tell me say at that time uh, they have. Uh, quite good, like uh, like house of buildings because they are quite rich and uh, they have uh, maybe at least two stories home. Uh, most of the time, they just live in the second story. Uh, the the ground floor is like a temple, right. Buddhism temple, just uh, uh, the place for my grandma to like worship these idols. Uh, that's her normal sort of uh, practice of her religion. But things happen that uh, their first son, as my uncle actually, my, my father is the, her, their youngest son, uh, my uncle uh, get very sick at a time. It's, I, I think it's still in the 1930s, it's quite early. Uh, this, the boy was a little boy anyway, and uh, because they they have very high socioeconomic status, they they are rich, so they can invite uh, the most famous Western doctors and the Chinese doctors. You know, um, they invite those very famous doctors to to see to try to uh, give their son the best possible. Uh, medi medical support, mm. but both sides say, "Sorry, we, we can't do anything." Uh, it's uh, maybe you better to prepare uh, the back, the worst result. Mm. So, uh, so they, uh, of course, my grandma already pray to those idols and invite these monks or other sort of, uh, or she can find the, the, the local folk legends. Mm. Uh, Shame uh, uh, yes, yeah. yes. Um, they, uh, they, they have their very special way to pray uh, for the child, but looks like nothing uh, like uh, changed. Mm. So um, my Grandpa uh, suddenly, or maybe not suddenly, just told to my grandma, say, okay, looks, we almost used out all our resources, uh, either medical resources or prayer resources. So, do you agree I just invite a pastor? Because uh, I believe uh, he tried to introduce uh, the uh, Christianity say I've been in touch with those pastors they're very uh, nice and they're very kind as well mm. they would like to help us so uh, from that point because I think that's the critical point for the whole family not just for my grandma uh, but 
my grandma's decisions still uh, very pivotal for this transition because mm. she, she told my um, grandpa say if only if my child getting with I would I would like to change my face I would like to yeah, yeah follow your face so uh, my grandpa invite pastors uh, to in, in a home and pray for the very sick boys, literally just dying. Um, and things happen. It looks like they still give the boy a lot of medical support, uh, still try to care the boy. But before that point, everything just getting worse and worse. And, and all the medical doctors just give up, like give up hope. Uh, but after that point, everything just getting better and better, and the child recovered, yeah. fully recovered. Um, so from that time on, they uh, actually, um, my grandmother uh, kept her promise say, okay, I'm going to leave my Buddhism religion. Yeah. Uh, and they, under the instruction of the pastors, they knock out all the uh, idols at home yeah. and clear up everything throughout, all the idols. Because I, I mentioned they are quite rich. They have a lot of wow. idols, not just one. Yeah. A lot of idols. Right. They throw them out, clearing everything out. So. The whole family, apart from that, the whole family, including uh, uh, my grandpa and grandma, and their three children, all they were, they were baptized in the church. And you're a Christian today because of that, you think? Yeah. Well, I myself getting um, converted to Christian is another story anyway, yeah. but I do think that's a very... Uh, critical time mm. for the whole family turn into the face of uh, yeah. to the Christ. And what happened when Mao came to power? Uh, I think last time you were saying like the, uh, he was a university professor or something, they ended up putting him in childcare or something like that. Yeah, uh, when uh, Mao came into power, that's in, in 1949, uh, actually Took in, he took in full powers in 1950s anyway. Um, so every foreign Christian missionaries or pastors or whatever, if you're a foreigner, he going to drove them all out. So they have to die. Uh, and uh, uh, all the Christian church before that time he tried to destroy, because his purpose tried to de destroy not just Christianity, but every single religion. Yeah. So sweep out. But it's very, uh, like, uh, very tricky. They say, OK, now uh, we're a new government. So you, you guys are not going to practice in your old ways. We have our way for you. So all the. Uh, Christian group, you have to uh, do this. You give up all your original practice. Uh, I just designate a certain place, then you can. So like a state government? Church. Yes, you, you, you have to stay there. If not, I'm going to put you in prison anyway. But that's just starting. Uh, since time goes on and on, the pressure getting higher and higher, even that was not allowed. So actually, the, I believe a lot of faithful Christians, they was uh, facing very severe persecution. And uh, um, especially those uh, pastors. And I, I got a very uh, famous figure who's, well, at that time, was, no one know her. But he, I believe he was only Christian who was stand so firm 
even some other pastors couldn't compare. Uh, that, that's yeah. another story anyway. Yeah. But uh, I just say my family story. So my my dad actually know he himself is a Christian, but because you know uh, at that time. Uh, something you, you couldn't see very clearly or very properly say, oh, these communist parties, they doing, looks like superficial, they do quite a good job, like they are getting the whole country united, uh, they're doing a lot of basic uh, like social welfare for mm. the people, yeah. let the poor people uh, get feed, uh, let the poor people get uh, medical service, it looks like quite good. Mm. So at some point, I think it's why the Communist Party is so uh, trick really. They try to uh, play some good side in front of you mm. anyway. Even the Christians, as my father was saying, oh, that's quite good. So in a point, he, I, I, be, uh, I remember he told me, so. It's even on a point say, okay, I might consider to join this party. <laughs> yeah. But things happen. When he say to those party members, okay, I look your your behavior is quite good, so I might thinking about joining your party. Now the things happen say uh, those party members, okay. They know my my dad is a Christ, uh, was Christian. So they say, if you want to join our party, you have to deny your faith. On that point, my father realized there's going to be no way to join that party. Yeah. He said, no. He had to say no. Even at that time, the, good, the great pressure on it. Even he said, even there's no church to go at that time. He said, no, I couldn't fight my, my faith. There's no way. So, so from that, I believe from that day on, my dad came more clearly to see uh, this, kind of, this party, yeah. <laughs> this political, so-called political party, but actually it looks like a religious party as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yep. a blessing, brother. That's excellent, mate. Thank you. Thank you for sharing it with me. That's that's wonderful, mate. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, very good. Yeah.